Good day, fellow citizens, and thanks for tuning in to This Week in Store Citizen. Let's get started with the week. Starting off this week, the Capture the Idris event is still live till February 27th. This is the brand new event showing off the hard work CIG has done on the Idris. The ship is in game as part of the event, and you can pilot it, but good luck getting to the pilot ship because everyone on the server will want that seat. I personally haven't had a chance to check out the event yet, but it's a must, especially for the newer players. This will show you what a work of beauty Star Citizen really is. And then, at 14 Snow, you'll be very happy about this one. Thursday this week, we're getting our hands on a brand new jump down event. I know many of us have been waiting quite a while for this one. Last week's two main programs, Inside Star Citizen and Star Citizen Live, went well with ISE taking a look at the new master modes for Alpha 3.23 and Star Citizen Live taking a look at the upcoming distribution centers. We also got the announcement for CitizenCon in October last week. I left a link in the description for you guys as always. Now, let's take a look at what's happening this week in Star Citizen. On Tuesday, the narrative teams will bring us a new Galactopedia update and of course the jump down event. Thursday, there's a new episode of Inside Star Citizen with a look at the current state of the Aegis Idris, with a director's commentary by Nathan Deersley and John Crew. Subscribers are also getting a new Jump Point magazine that's taking a look behind the scenes of last year's Anvil F80 Lightning event. It will detail the development of the Gadak Swellen, a walk around the Idris, and a look at the in law history of Pyro's Headhunters gang. Friday, there won't be a Star Citizen live unfortunately, but there will be the RSI newsletter. And of course, Saturday, CIG will be attending the Bar Citizen in Manchester. Sweet, that's all I have for you guys this week. So until next time, cheers.